Hello and welcome to Connect, sponsored by City First Mortgage and Clear Mortgage. Uh, I'm Jason, and today we're going to be going over the state of local marketing. You've probably seen a lot of experts pontificating on their 2022 halftime reports. It seems like the economy is changing rapidly. Our, our real estate and mortgage markets are changing rapidly, and more of my marketing clients are evaluating how to invest over the next 18 to 24 months. So with that in mind, what are your goals to survive what we know to be a contracting market and a tougher economic landscape for our industry? Um, during our one-on-one -on -one times, I'd like to learn more about your business goals. I'd like to learn more about uh, what you're hoping to accomplish this year. If you're with City First Mortgage or Clear Mortgage, um, I know that you already made your business plan, so I'd, I'd love to see what you put together and discover uh, what your particular wants and needs are so we can align our goals with our, our marketing squad over here. So as I mentioned, I'd like to talk to you today about the, the, the state of local marketing and how our companies are attacking things with a unique emphasis on local teams. So we know that things have changed. Um, thanks to how quickly you can discover information, your customers know way more about your business before they even set foot in your office or land on your website. So what that means is that customers often know exactly what they want before they visit you. And in 2021... 88% of all buying decisions were made online, and I'm sure helped by a certain pandemic, but uh, that's according to uh, Google ZMOT study. And uh, around here, our, uh, our fearless leader, Garrett, will, will talk a lot about the ZMOT, um, and we'll, we'll go over what that means and what that, what that uh, uh, why, why Google is so interested in it. So what do I mean by buying decisions? Well, let's take a look at that. Uh, before the internet and mobile devices existed, remember that time? Uh, your customers discovered your business pretty simply. You'd have like the initial stimulus would catch the attention of your customers, something like a radio ad, a, a TV spot, a coupon, uh, a, a spot in the phone book. And, and then if this sparked their interest, they'd immediately head to the business. Uh, to buy the product or service they were interested in. And we would, we would consider this uh, the first moment of truth. Then afterwards, they see if expectation matches reality. Um, did they love the experience? Did they hate the experience? What, what was the outcome? Um, they'll share experiences with friends and family. And keep in mind, they also share... Uh, how bad things go. <laughs> so, so people research your business before they enter uh, the front door. Uh, the moment people may, are making decisions is happening online now. And, and Google calls this the zero moment of truth. And, and that's the ZMOT. And it's happening every single day for your business. So um, so get to know that concept if you're if you're not already. I'm sure most of us have some some idea, but 88% of all buying decisions are are made online at the zero moment of truth. So how is your marketing performing exactly at that moment right now? And the typical customer journey looks like this. Um, it starts with an interest and awareness still, right? Uh, Television ads, radio, billboard, uh, they, they're not gone. None of, of this stuff is not gone, but they're being supplemented by digital stimulus. They're being supplemented with things like online advertising, email, text messaging, uh, YouTube. So what are you currently doing right now to generate awareness and interest from new and existing clients? Um, after becoming aware of your business, consumers start discovering more with search. Uh, there are more places than ever where people are searching for, for your business. It's not just Google. 
there are, there are apps, there are directories, there are voice search, there's GPS, there's a lot of places. So how findable is your business online right now? Uh, what places are you found that you're aware of? After, after finding the business, consumers see your reviews. In fact, it's, it's often the first thing showcased on Google. If you've seen your, the mapping and the, and the little five-star thing, uh, when a consumer uses ratings, reviews, recommendations, things like that uh, to help them compare choices, this actually affects your zero moment of truth where they chose the business uh, they're going with. So what's your average review score right now? Do you have any negative reviews? Do you have any uh, one stars that snuck their way on there? What are you doing to take care of that? Do you have any plans there? Um, we, can, we can probably help. Uh, anyway, the next step in the customer's journey is finally connecting with your business. So consumers are looking for quick, easy ways to make a booking. Um, to get a quote, uh, to get that, get access to that house. So is your website making it easy to convert and uh, for people to become your customer? Are you, are you, are you making, a, do you have a, a nice welcome mat? Do you have an easy capture or in mortgage, are you going right for their birth date and their social security number? <laughs> you know, there's a, there's a uh, context in order to kind of, getting them in there. Uh, finally, it's important to do everything you can to encourage happy customers to return again. This is a big problem in, in real estate and lending. You know, we have one in six people that don't use the same lender or real estate agent twice. And you might think, oh, that's not me. That's not my business. You'd be surprised with our software uh, I can show you if your customers have been cheating on you. So anyway, you, you want to let them know um, once, you, once you find that they're there, uh, you want to let them know to, to write them a review and post it on your social media. And of course, uh, you know, invite them back. So here are all the channels, uh, both traditional and digital, that can influence potential customers. And it's important to win at each stage, okay? I know that kind of seems like no kidding, but uh, it's, it's very important to have a plan at each stage. So here's the kicker. Let's say the consumer is making their way along the, the funnel for business A. They became interested after seeing a Facebook ad. Uh, then they looked up the business and found them but there were multiple negative Google reviews that hadn't been responded to. Uh, now, they likely won't trust this business. So what will the consumer do? Well, since they're, since they're well into the research stage, it's likely they'll go right to the next stage, but with a competitor, they're gonna slide down to the competition. So that means business A's marketing and advertising dollars pushed consumer directly into the hands of the competition and further down the funnel, which increases the chance of a sale. And, um, and that would be a sale and a loyal customer for the competition on your dime. That's not good. So anyway, if you, if you can get this concept, the opposite is also true by ensuring your business can be found, trusted, liked, you can have your competition uh, you can have their advertising dollars working for you. So the fastest way to increase your business's budget is to use someone else's budget, right? Use someone else's money. So now, hopefully I have you thinking a little bit, maybe even excited to take some action. There's a lot of different places to start. The question is, what's the smartest place to start? So here's the logical order of operations in, in local business marketing. Number one, you have to make sure your conversion point is fantastic and well-tuned. And for most businesses, this is your website, whether you're mortgage, real estate, or both, uh, it, it's your website. So what we like, our WordPress websites, are, they're jam-packed full of custom features, but mostly they're specifically tuned to be highly effective conversion monsters. And, 
I'll, I'll tell you all about that on a, on another specific call. Uh, but it, you have to have certain rules and things set up for, for modern lead capture. So you make sure that that's a conversion point that works for you. Number two, um, we have to focus on being influential at the zero moment of truth with listings and reputation. So it's no secret people are making decisions about your business every day on what other people are saying across the web. Uh, online reviews they're having a huge impact on business and consumers. The impact can be positive, the impact can be negative. Every five-star review, actually every star, every star a business gets in their rating, their sales revenue increases from approximately five to 9%, according to Google, which is nuts. Um, at the same time, 22% of consumers will not purchase a product after reading just one negative review about it. So those are those are those are stats we should pay attention to in our industry. In fact, Google announced that it too makes decisions about which businesses to show based on what other people are saying. So the three most important factors to rank uh, in your local rank are relevance, distance, and prominence. So in this case, prominence, is defined as a business's reputation, which includes counting the reviews and the ratings. So what Google is saying is that it's literally ranking your business in the local pack on how many reviews you have and how good those reviews are. If you don't manage your reviews, uh, you're really risking whether or not your business will even show up in search. So it, our superpower, of course, is um, over a hundred data integrations with sites, maps, apps, uh, digital services all around the world, across verticals, uh, languages, and geographies. So you can create your business listing in just one place, and our software will make sure that you're found on places like Bing, Yahoo, Yellow Pages. Yasabe, the largest Spanish speaking directory, uh, Yelp, and, and so many more. Um, you wouldn't normally go and create profiles all over these uh, places, but these are the most Google loved places and they all structure the same and they give you a very credible backlink network almost overnight for your website, whether it's brand new or it's been there forever. So SEO has changed. Um, number three. Finally, increased interest and awareness with digital advertising. So this is the hard one. And this is the one that people always skip to, right? Uh, before they do the conversion, before they do the reputation, they're going to go right to number three. And let's try to boost those posts on Facebook. And uh, hey, there's a science to it. These days, the, the most cost-effective uh, way to create awareness for your business is still social media ads. But our team of experts can help advise which ads are performing best in our current market. Um, things are moving fast, targeting and ad platforms are constantly updating. So let's just make it about the numbers. Let's put our data to the test on your next uh, Facebook or Instagram spend and um, see why so many mortgage and real estate professionals are happily handing me their admin rights <laughs> And, uh, and, and letting me uh, run ads for them. So obviously social media ads are, are more disruptive uh, by nature. Uh, so even with the best targeting, if you're serious about pushing high intent customers to your business, it has to be done with search. And it has to be done with Google and Bing. And these are the, I want a three bed, two bath in Los Angeles immediately. You know, These are the people that are further down the funnel and, uh, and that is a, it, it's a more expensive game to play, but it is uh, the way to, uh, to get those high intent people. So you can also take advantage of our team's years of media buying and ad placement uh, with, our, with our live connect ad network. So in this case, this is not your branding that brought them there, uh, but it's your exclusive booked appointment that we can book for you. 
And I promise the first thing people do after they talk to you is they go back and they look you up and they see, oh, is this person legit? Uh, so you can take advantage of our seven figure ad spend in our ad network, which is of course not seven figures to you, uh, but I'll still refer you back to number one and two, your website and your reputation. So we still kind of have to get those things attuned um, but hey, what a great opportunity to get exclusive appointments in a very controlled uh, booking. I have a lot of conversion rates to share with you, so we can really back into some powerful things. So um, with that said, those are the three uh, things that we would be reviewing one-on-one. -on -one. And from that point, we're just going to recommend some strategies for you. If you're, if you're interested in any of this, uh, please uh, get a hold of, of uh, our local team or connect with us by emailing info at cityfirstconnect.com. And I'd be happy to, uh, to book you on the Calendly. And uh, thank you for attending today. Can't wait to get started and uh, see you later. Okay, bye-bye.